Hello and welcome back to Planet Coaster Alpha 3, ladies and gentlemen, today, well today I would quite like to continue with our park here, if of course you can actually call it that, because I feel like calling it a park is a little bit generous at the moment, but that's fine, we're gonna get there, we're gonna make it fabulous, and it's gonna be all sorts of amazing, so, what I'd like to do, <laughs> that's an intro, what I'd like to do, is go ahead and knock my path width up to eight there. Give me a length of five and just extend that the whole way down there. Bit of a lengthy path, but that's fine. Gonna extend that one over and extend that one as well. Cause I wanna sort of make a main sort of walkway down here with a bunch of rides on the right, maybe an arcade here in this space. And I'm considering putting all my flat rides sort of in a space here, not necessarily a perfect square, but I like that idea, sort of have them going around this space and then all filtering into a space in the middle which we can decorate, but we'll see, we will absolutely see. Anyway, we have only got one little structure at the moment, so we're gonna wanna do something a little bit more with that. So, let's get to that in a moment. Let's place another ride. Right now for money, we're not doing that great. We're really not, so we need to make more. Let's place a ride and I would like to place, I'm gonna go with the cube. It's another new ride, and I'd like to flip it that way around so that it sort of raises up over the main path. So we'll raise that up to there, which looks pretty decent to me. And the entrance for this ride can go right down here at the end. We'll put the exit just, I'll say, about there. And the queue for the entrance can go, no, that's the wrong material. Hold on, we'll go for, do I want to go for this? I actually quite like that uh, that look. I kind of like the the concrete look there. It's actually quite nice. But I think I'll stick with the uh, with the blue because uh, it's pretty nice too. So we'll go like uh, let's see. What way do we want to do this? I guess we'll go like this, and then we'll start weaving this back and forth because then we can put the uh, priority pass queue just at the end there. So if I do this kind of thing. I'll weave it back and forth a couple of times to about there and add a ticket booth right there at the end. So about that spot, which seems pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and enable priority pass so the entrance can go there and the exit can go there. And then it just has a little bit to cross over, which is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what you want from a priority pass queue. Uh, so that can link together like that. And I think it looks pretty good. It's nice and simple. It's a really short queue, but it does skip a massive amount of that queue, so that's going to be pretty good. This space in here is obviously going to be decorated to look absolutely beautiful, but for the meantime, let's go to Pathways, knock the width down to 4, knock the length down to 1, and go for the black one. So if we go like that, uh, for some reason I can't go to the right, and that annoys me. I can go to the left, but I can't go to the right. Oh, no, I can. Okay. That's... Ooh, that frame rate dropped, though. Okay, the game really didn't like me doing that, apparently. Uh, but there we go. We have the little pathway coming along. It could have actually almost linked up to there, which would have been nice. But uh, let's just bring this the whole way down to here. And uh, unfortunately, I can't get the right angle I'd want there, which is all sorts of annoying, but that's fine. We'll bring that back a little bit. Can I just run this pathway straight into, uh, into this one? Is that a thing I could... Aha! There we go. All right. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to let me do the corner the way I'd want to, but... I feel like that does the job. It's not a perfect right... Oh, no. With it not being a perfect right angle, it actually doesn't look all that great. Uh, so let's just do... Let's see. Can I get this to connect the way I'd like? really like it to? No, that's all right. Then this can come down like this. Connect to there, and I can put some trees and stuff in that little gap there. So that'll look all right. That should do the job. Uh, I think it works. I can decorate this little space as well, and it means we have another ride. Now, I'm obviously going to want to change the color of the base of it to be that blue color that we have over here. And the rest of the ride's going to need to be changed as well. So, we have these white supports. I would kind of like those to be maybe orange instead of blue. Now, that's not the orange I'm looking for. I'm going to go with that orange instead, because it's a bit stronger. Or do I want another one altogether? I think we'll stick with that one for the time being. We'll go for that kind of blue there. We'll go for the same kind of blue there. Actually, no, we won't. We'll go for a slightly, uh, slightly darker one. And then the pink bits are the seats, and those can actually be uh, orange as well. 
So I think that looks okay. I know a couple of people aren't too keen on this color scheme, and to be honest, I'm not too keen on that shade of orange we've gone for there. It needs to be slightly different. Uh, that's more what I'm looking for. All right, so that'll do the job. I know some people aren't too keen on this color scheme, but I like it because it stands out so much against the red background. So that's what we're going for. That's also why I'm adding trees and stuff to this area. I know it looks weird, especially since it's just growing out of sand, but what I'm going to do eventually is go over all of this with uh, with some grass, which I think will look absolutely amazing. Uh, so, you know, that's the plan. That's the grand idea. It may work. It may not. We will soon find out. Anyway, this ride is ready to open. So let's get that done. And we'll hopefully see some people heading along there to use it. What I'd like to do for the time being is go to Path Extras and do a little bin there and a little bin there. And then put some uh, some benches on either side of those so people have somewhere to sit whilst their friend or relative or whoever goes on the cube. Which hopefully we'll see some people do. I also think we're going to want some uh, some signs around. No, that is open, isn't it? Yes, it is. I feel like I want some signs around here. And to do that, I'm actually going to go to props. I'm going to get this. Oh, yeah, this thing. You might remember this thing. This is what the entrance to rides used to look like. And if you haven't played Planet Coaster before Alpha 3, oh, yeah. If you've not, if you've not seen Planet Coaster before Alpha 3, this is what the entrance to rides used to look like. It, it's not just the little bollards on their own, but this is what it used to be. Oh, yeah, those were dark times. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put one at this end as well. Just like, uh, I'll say about that. That looks pretty good to me. And uh, I can put some signs on that. Now, I'm not entirely certain that a sign for the cube actually exists, which is uh, slightly disappointing, honestly. I'll be honest. Slightly disappointing. If I search for cube, there isn't one. But there is one for, if I search for kickflip, which is a ride. No, it's not in there. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. I'm probably going to want to look in custom, huh? Uh, if I search kickflip, there is a sign for that. If I search cube, there isn't a sign for the cube. Well, that's a shame. That is uh, that is most definitely a shame, but at least we have the ride here. Uh, money's not looking so great, but it should go up a little bit once we have people using this ride, which we now do. So that's echo. Oh, no, we don't. Why did you, why did you walk away? Uh, it looks too intense for me. Oh, a few people saying it looks a bit too intense. Let's have a look. 20, eh, the percentage is, uh, is changed a bit. Why is it too intense? Let me lower the price a little bit. Let's lower the price by a dollar. Oh, they, this guy's keen. Look at him. So keen that he got the fast pass, even though he didn't need to. All right. I mean, fair enough, sir. These guys know what they're doing. There we go. Do people actually get onto the rides these days, or do they teleport onto it? Uh, they do, actually. They run up onto them. Okay, they didn't used to do that. They used to teleport, which is pretty cool that they've actually got the animations in where the people do walk up to the rides. I, uh, I quite enjoy that. So these guys run up. They sort of phase into the seats, but that's fine. Also worth noting, the cube lights up. This ride doesn't. It has little lights on the, uh, on the planes, which is nice and all, but the rest of it is pretty dull and pretty dim. So I might want to look into getting some lighting onto this ride. It definitely needs it. I'll tell you what we also need to do. We need to go and grab some more of uh, of these. And I'd like to throw them into these spaces just over here. Because I think we kind of want some lights in and around here. Uh, so if I do that, then I'll put another one just, let's see, probably in there, I guess. So something a bit like that. Just lights up the area a little bit, adds some, a little something something to that area, which I think is uh, is pretty good. I'd also like to add that to there. And uh, we'll get more lights in there in just a second. Now, the cube is... Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. That's sound, though. Oh, that's sound. My God. So it rises up. It starts spinning you around. And then it's going to start... Oh, yeah. It's going to start going all sorts of ways can safely say I wouldn't want to be on that. But we do have two giant rides, which are working pretty well. Monetarily speaking, we're doing okay as well, but I think I'm going to want to get one more ride in here before I go ahead and uh, start working on another little building here. So let's see what we can do. Let's 
I mean, for one, that, uh... I realize this entrance is a little bit... I mean, it's right against that one. This one isn't... Well, I guess it will be able to be right against it. This is... I'm, I'm trying to work out spacing, all right? I'm rambling. I am... I am rambling, definitely. But I'm trying to work out important things. Anyway, I think... I would like to add the kickflip. Because it's another ride that's very bright and very vibrant. And I like that. I do. Are there any other rides that are a bit like that? I mean, this one... Not so much. We have this one, which... This is a new ride. This thing looks intense. It's amazing, but I don't want to place it here. So I think I'm going to go... With the kickflip. And sort of just throw it there. The entrance can go... Sort of in the same spot as the ride next to it. The exit can go sort of in the same spot as well. Uh, the queue for the entrance, obviously a similar style to... So just like that, doesn't quite go as far as the other one. Bit of a smaller queue, so this one can actually extend a little bit further down. So hopefully I can put the ticket booth on this. Um, apparently not, which is a bit sad, really. Uh, so let's see, if I get rid of... If I go to paths and I go and get rid of you, then I click on this ride and I add a ticket booth. Will it let me do it there? Yes, it will indeed, which is all sorts of good. Okay. So extend this ticket booth to there. I suppose, I don't want to raise it up. I just want to put it there. Oh God, can I raise the person through the floor? That's odd. Uh, let's see. So just do that. There we go. So that's connected. It does need an exit, which is easy to do. Uh, so we'll do exit there. I'd like it to go straight on, to be honest. Uh, so exit there. Blue base, of course. I know it looks a bit like water, but I like the blue base. Uh, so come out like this. And uh, right over. Then it's going to need to go out and around this guy here. Uh, it is not connecting like that. Can confirm. Not going to be connecting like that. Uh, what way is this going to connect, though? That's the real question. I mean, that can run parallel. Which is definitely interesting. I wonder if I could get that to work. Like, if I just run a parallel path there, and sort of try and find a way to connect those two together. There's something like, th oh, hold on, does that work? No. If to oh, that works. That looks okay to me. I kind of like it. It's kind of funky. Alright, so that ride is now also pretty much ready to go. I will want to just duplicate this fella here. So just run that down to the entrance to this ride. Because the kickflip does actually have a sign, so I can place it. So that looks fine there. Which is good. Let's have a look at the kickflip then and change its colors. So I think the big red base of it is gonna be orange. It is mostly blue already, which is cool. But let's go for the light blue, then the dark blue, and then uh, the dark blue again. Yeah, I like, I do like that color scheme. I really, really do. Let's open the ride and see what's up. We haven't added a priority pass yet, but uh, we can totally do that. So the entrance can go, oh dear, why is that not snapping? Why are you not snapping? You don't want to snap at all, do you? All right, let's have a look at paths. I need to turn angle snap on and then that'll snap there. The exit can go just there. And the little pathway itself just goes across like that. Beautiful. Okay, so that gives us a third ride, which should make us a whole heap of money. We have uh, 407 people in the park. Their happiness, uh, it's not great. But we'll get there. We'll totally get there. We don't have toilets yet. That's the problem. We don't have toilets, and we absolutely need them. So this, to me, looks really cool. I really like how this looks with all the rides going down here. And I've realized I kind of don't want to do an arcade on this side. I think more rides is probably for the best. Uh, so we have just this, this corridor of amusement. That's an, that's, that's a title. That's a sentence. It's a really pretentious sentence, but it's a sentence nonetheless. Uh, so I like the idea of this guy going in here. It can go up there a little bit. It can't go there. We're going to need a, a smaller ride to put in this space. Actually, that one works fine, because it goes left and right, doesn't it? 
So that can actually go... That can technically go in there, can't it? So... I guess this giant thing... Another ride that swings you back and forth... Can go there in a really dangerous spot, let's be honest. Like, that is... That's real close to this ride. Look how close this thing passes to it. Like, that... It was not that close, actually. That's a complete lie. Like, that was an exaggeration, but... I still can't say I'd be too comfortable. I mean, I'm not- I wouldn't be comfortable on any of these. Anything that takes me off the grind for more than, like, two seconds, I would not be seen dead on, but... Well, I wouldn't be seen dead on it, because if you get me on it, I would probably just... just give up on life. But, uh... The point I'm trying to make... Is that those pass real close to each other, and I kind of like it. I kind of like that little hint of danger going on there. So, uh, that's gonna be fun. That is well and truly going to make some people just, uh... uh pat their shants, shall we say. So that can go there. We're gonna want ourselves a nice priority pass again, so the entrance can go... right there. The exit can go right there. And we'll connect you guys together. And, uh, that's possibly the shortest part, uh, priority pass we have thus far. But, uh, anyway, that ride is not open. The exit's not connected to anything, obviously, but we can fix that. So the exit goes there. Uh, we probably wanted to go that way. Then, uh... Yeah, I guess that way and just straight down is fine. So that connects the whole way through. Then the base of the ride is blue, and the ride itself gets recolored. Uh, we'll go for... Good old orange. Is that the orange I wanted, though? No, that's the orange I wanted. Okay. So that's the orange I wanted. Do I want the blue? I feel like orange and blue works, but... I actually kind of like the whole thing in orange. A little bit bland, though, so maybe we go for the lighter one at the top. Just for the hell of it. Because the blue definitely doesn't work. I mean, the, the light blue there, I mean... Well, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll go for that. What the hell? So that's another ride just there. Oh my god, that's that looks amazing! I love that so much. I really do. I know it's nothing special, and I know someone's gonna be like, Actually, um, I think you'll find that uh, I have built something so much better in Planet Coaster. But, uh, I don't care. I like how this looks. I don't know what that voice was! That was a new one. Uh, <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my god. Uh, unfortunately, this- this booth thing can't actually go where I want it to. That's kind of annoying. That's, uh, because it sort of overlaps there. Which is a shame. I mean, I can sort of... ...sink it into the ground a bit, but even then, you still have it sort of there. So that's gonna have to not go there. Which I suppose is fine. I suppose that's okay. Uh, I wanna get another ride here. I wanna get another sort of ride that raises you up a bit and sort of swings you about. Which this one does, but again, I want that sort of in its own spot. So let's go for this- I mean, we have this, the hammer swing, which is, um... All sorts of terrifying. But I think I'll add the insanity. Although the insanity would make more sense at the end, because it is a bit smaller, but I think I'll just add the insanity. Because I kind of like it. So, it goes that way. Or that way. I think there. I feel like... I feel like this is where it goes. So let's just put it there, like that. Then move it across to there. And raise it up a bit. Alright. So the insanity... You can go there. Oh my god. When these are all functioning, this is gonna look so good. I'm also spending so much money. But I think we're fine. Uh, so the entrance to the ride, once again, going right there with the exit going right about there. Oh my god, that ride looks amazing. Look at that thing. How good does that look? And then this one's going as well. You've got the cube back there, just sort of in the air. Look at this! That looks absolutely insane, and I love it to bits. I'm so happy with, uh, with how that's turning out. Kickflip over here is... not getting all that much love, I'm gonna be honest. It's, uh... I mean, in terms of money, we're- we're doing alright. We haven't built anything, technically, in March thus far, but... Eh, we- we could be doing better money. I'm gonna speed up the game a little bit. 
just speed up the simulation and see how we do. Because we do have all of these rides in now, so we should be able to start making some decent money. Uh, we're definitely going to want to get some toilets in here. And I feel like that's something I can actually add into this space. I feel like that'd be a pretty good little addition to here. So let's get into some building. It needs to kind of look like this one. So... We're going to start with some walls. And we're going to go with, uh, again, the lime plaster ones, because those are our chosen material. And uh, I'd like to throw it just sort of there. So what way is this going to... This is potentially not going to sit the way I want it to, which is a bit of a shame, but I think I'll make it work. Uh, so if I do that and do that, do that, and that, what the hell? Oh, that's that thing. Okay. Uh, do a bit of this. Can I get... Oh, hold on a minute. There are some sort of diagonal pieces in here. Like this. Which totally work. It's just not really what I'm looking for. If there was one of those made of lime plaster, I would be much happier. But it certainly doesn't look like there is. There is a, uh, a stucco version of it. But if I search for a lime, yeah, there is definitely not a lime plaster version. Which is a shame. I guess I can get a curved wall. But that's not entirely what I'm looking for either. But I guess it's kind of my only choice, isn't it? A bit of a weird curved wall. No, that doesn't look right. That really doesn't look right. I also feel like the entire structure, I mean, I do need to shift it a little bit. Uh, so I would like to advance to move it just across a little to about there. So that's fine. Uh, then we edit. All right. So again, I can't quite get this wall to, uh, to go the way I'd want it to. I feel like the entire structure just needs to sort of be moved a little bit. Also, you might be wondering why I've left the simulation on. That's just to see how money goes, which thus far, I mean, it seems to be all right. So if I do that, uh, and then I do... What is the sound effects in this game? Uh, just a horn going here and there. It's always good. Uh, so I want wall. I want uh, the good old lime plaster wall. Which can go there, I suppose. Uh, I would then like to advance to move this again. Just back a little bit. To about there. Which I think is fine. Uh, then for toilets, what way am I going to put those in? Because obviously, I mean, I could get one in there. I can get one there. I... I reckon... Getting one in there is a good idea. And, I mean, getting one there is a pretty good idea as well. So, we'll do that. We'll connect those two together. It gives this building a little bit of purpose to have this weird bit sticking out. We'll do that. But then what I want to do is go to paths. And I want to go for the blue one. And I want to see if I can get this to be central. So, if I do eight. Uh, maybe seven instead for the width of this. Uh, now, seven's a little bit too small. So, it is going to have to be eight here. I feel like that's where I want it to be. Yeah. So, that actually works exactly how I wanted it to. Which is good. Then, can that just connect? For one, do that and do that. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't really work, does it? Okay. Uh, in that case... Oh, dear. Hold on a minute. We need to, uh, we need to change some bits here. So make that with eight, then make it a bit smaller. And can I get this to connect the way I really want it to? Uh, not really. Okay, well this is this is going to be a really in interesting uh, interesting structure. So that needs to connect there. That needs to do that. Then this just needs to connect straight through. I just I want that little kind of connection there, you know? That's that's what I'm aiming for. So that, but then it turns into that. Maybe turn that one into it as well? I guess that works. That's probably as close as I'm going to get, isn't it? Oh, people are being sick. Excellent. That's just what you want. We need a janitor here. We really, really do. At least people are using the toilets, though. Okay, let's get back to the structure, then. So... 
We need a wall. And I want an archway. Over each toilet. Like that. I think that looks pretty pretty, uh, pretty decent. I cannot speak and it's going so well. Gotta love that. Uh, archway, archway. And then maybe extend the front as well. Actually, maybe don't. That's fine. At least people are using them. We've got that going for us. People are definitely using the toilet. Uh, just in an interesting way. What kind of columns have we got here? That's... Oh, my. That is beautiful. That one's a bit taller. We have this thing as well, which is uh, an interesting little thing. We have stucco columns. We don't have anything of that's made of lime plaster, though. Which is a shame. But I think I'll use this. I kind of like it. I think it could look interesting in the middle of the uh, the middle of the room. Plus, it hides the thing in the middle. I mean, people are going to walk through it, but I think it's just an interesting addition to the space. Plus, I can go and get myself another lime plaster arch and sort of throw a couple of those in. Which, I don't know about you, but I kind of like how that looks. I do. I, I kind of like I kind of like that look. So that'll do. That's the way we're going to have to uh, to do the... The toilet building. Obviously, the outside of it needs a bunch of detailing, but uh, let's just put the roof on it, and then we'll get to the detailing of the outside. Alrighty then. So, the roof is pretty much done. I'm going to want to put some signs up there, obviously, to uh, just make the whole thing... That's not what I wanted to click. I don't want to click the ride. I want to click me little building, please. Uh, so, I do want to put some things on this building to make it noticeably a toilet. Uh, I feel like the fairy tale sign is maybe not what I'm looking for. But let's see what we have here. So we have we have all sorts of things. We have frameworks and all that. I feel like this would be pretty cool to uh, to throw on top of the building. Unfortunately, I can't really do it because the uh, it would be sort of intersecting with everything. I mean, can I? Does it does it show inside the building? Um, no, it doesn't actually. So that actually does work, and I can then put a sign on it, which I think would look really cool. So that's nice. I can have my little framework there, which is nice. So, then we go to decorations, and I want some, uh, what do we got? I need, I need wall decorations. I think that might be in scenery. It's possible that it's in scenery. I'm specifically looking for archways, animatronics, none of that stuff. I mean, though, these are nice. I love these, and I'm really excited to use some of them at some point. Uh, I have a lot of ideas for this kind of stuff, but not really what I'm looking for just yet. Uh, it must be in building. It must be. If I search for wood, there's what I'm looking for. These beams and frameworks. These are pretty cool. So these can sort of go just at the, uh, in all the corners and stuff like that to make the building just look like it's sort of thrown together a little bit, sort of held up a little bit. This actually reminds me of... Uh, what's the name of the desert place in RuneScape? Oh yeah, good old RuneScape. I seriously loved that game back in the day. I played so much of it. I still owe a friend of mine like 5,000 gold in that. Uh, because we, we started a business. We, uh, we basically... I don't know why I said business. I assume it was a business selling picnic baskets. But, uh, yeah, we started a little, like, woodcutting business thing. Uh, where we... And I don't mean, sort of, like, a cheaty thing at all. It was a legit, like, hey, in-game, we will go and get you a bunch of wood. Like, right now for this kind of price. And I can't remember why, but there was a circumstance where he gave me, like, five grand. For something. I think it was to get some tools or do so I don't know. I don't know. It was a long time ago in RuneScape. So, he did that anyway. And I never gave him it back. I mean, I probably should have. But I didn't. So I still owe him that money. I also really like how that looks. Just doubling up on the, uh... The thing there to get the little cross beam. That looks quite nice. I like that a lot. Uh, I think I'd like to do something similar in here. I kind of have this idea. If I... Rotate you. Can I get it to sit central on that wall? Um... Not really. I can get it to sit central there, though. So what I'll do is sink it in. Then I'd like to lower it. So you sort of have this... Uh, it just looks like there's like a wood support in there. And I really like that. 
I think that's a nice touch. I'd also like to uh, rotate it and turn off angle snap so I can sort of, you know, put it on a bit of an angle, move it across a little bit, and uh, do a similar thing on the other side, and just move that across a bit. So, we have that. It just makes it look like the building's got a little bit more going on with it, which I think is pretty cool. As for this building over here, I mean, what else did I do to- I didn't do much, actually. This building's very basic. Which I don't mind, I like that. But I am noticing the inside of that other building had wood on it. Which has me thinking that maybe I want to make this wall wood. Or at least cover it with wood, can I do that? Uh, I actually think I can, yeah. Yeah, that could just have a wood panel there, I think that looks alright. Uh, then maybe, just maybe... We do... A wood archway thing, can I get that in here? I don't know if I can. I have this- I have the one meter wooden wall, though. Which could totally go in there. But, uh, I don't think it will. I like this, though! As- you know, it's a very basic building, don't get me wrong, it's nothing spectacular, but it's- it's nice! It's nice and simple, and it does what it needs to do. Uh, and I would like to get some signs. So, props. Signs. None of those are what I'm looking for. I feel- is it in building? Wall signs, yeah. So, facility signs, I'm probably just going to use this. I know it's really bloody big. I do. And I know it's sort of out of character for the entire park, but... I feel like it- uh, it's not going to let me place it because the, uh... The ride there is- is going to potentially hit it. So, what can I do here? I guess that works. Sort of. Maybe I just lower the whole frame. Maybe we select you and select you, and hit X, and sort of lower it a little bit. I guess that kind of works, doesn't it? Do that kind of thing. The only question is, can the frame be seen in here? No, it can't, so that's fine. We have a little toilet sign there, which is quite nice. We could do similar on the side with uh, a similar sign if we wanted to. Not that I necessarily want to. I feel like I kind of want the toilet sign to just go there. Although it is very piratey, isn't it? It's not a pirate place. So maybe I do want to use this sign instead. So that can sort of go there, and this one needs to be removed. Because that's just not the right sign. It really isn't. It just isn't the right sign that we're looking for. If I raise that up, I can sort of put this one... ...there. Which I think looks alright. Yeah, I like that little building. I really, really do. It needs some stuff on the roof, obviously, but it's getting there. Well, this is pretty much the completed toilet building. I know it's, again, quite simple, much like the last one, but uh, I did make some changes to it. I decided to put the same archways in the sides that we have over here, and uh, generally, I just really like the way the building turned out. Obviously, we're not quite finished. We do need to get some, uh, some nature into all of this. So, I'm thinking that, for one, adding giant trees is not going to be an option because of the... Uh, Ride there, but I can add that. I also added this, uh, good old, what's it, well, right there. Yep, well, that's the word I was looking for. Apparently didn't remember the word well, so that's great. Just plop that there, sort of out of the way. Uh, people do sort of walk through some of the walls here, as you can see. I mean, this guy's sort of clipping through it. Some people are clipping through it here and there, like this person, but honestly, I'm not too worried about that. That's, uh, that's completely fine. It's something that happens, and I'm not gonna be all that concerned about it. Uh, I would like to add some nature just around here. Also turn off the, uh, snapping thing there. So just get a little bit of nature in there. I would really like to get another couple of birch trees in, but that's really not gonna be something I can do. But we do have these, which are floral creepers, which sort of slink up the side of a building, which looks pretty good. I kinda like how that looks. Uh, I can add one here as well. Which looks pretty good. And I can add ivy too. Ivy is, uh... Is definitely something I think would look kind of interesting on the side of some of these buildings. Like, that especially looks quite cool. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think I'd like a little bit of ivy on this side as well. So just like... Uh, we'll go... Let's see, if I can just get this to sit back a little bit, something like that kind of works, I suppose. Uh, then possibly another one of these things, so that it- oh no, this one hangs down a little bit. 
That one's not quite as good. Floral Creeper 2 is pretty good, though. It hangs up. It uh, hangs up. It sits up pretty well. So we'll do that, then turn off the uh, aligning to wall thing, and so we'll just put that against the wall like that. And I think that looks pretty nice. Just adds a little bit of detail to the building that is much, much needed. Uh, let's lower you down so we just get a little bit of uh, the flowers going on just there at the bottom. And a little bit there as well. You might have noticed I've put a ladder here. That's because we have this uh, sort of canopy thing on the roof. I figured we need a way up to the roof, so the ladder was probably the better way to do it. Uh, I'll put that there as well. And uh, what else do we have? We have this, but it's a bit... A little bit much. I think I'll add that in there, though. It just brings a bit of much-needed color. Same with there as well. Uh, we do have some dead trees, which I think might be interesting to add just here and there. Sort of adding a bit of variety to the whole thing. Because not every tree is going to be alive, obviously. So we'll just get a couple of these guys in. Just like that. And uh, I kind of like that. I mean, this space here needs something. Definitely. I don't think I'm going to get a birch tree there, though. Uh, no, it really doesn't want me to do that. But I can get it there, which I appreciate. So let me put a birch tree there. Can I get a big one in there? No, I can get one of the little ones, though. Um, so we'll do a little birch tree. A little pair of them like that. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, then we just need a few more bushes. So I'll get you in there and you there. And uh, this one as well would look pretty good just in there. A bit more of uh, a vibrant green going on. And maybe back there as well. All right. Now, obviously, there's this gap here behind the building, which is going to need something. Uh, let's see. We have some of these kind of purple bushes, which I always quite like. I'm just going to go ahead and do this, I think. I'm just going to fill it with some bushes because technically no one's really going to be back there anyway. So I don't think it's going to matter too much. If we just sort of fill up that space. Uh, just lower that a little bit and sort of fill that all in. Just a little bit like that. There we go. I think that looks all right. Again, no one's really going to be back there, so I don't think it matters too much. I would like to get some path extras, though. Because I would like to add a bin to uh, there. Just like that. I think that looks pretty good. Do I have bins over here? I do not, but I do have uh, benches that go the whole way around. So let's try and repeat that on this side and get the benches going the whole way around. Now, that one needs to go. No, don't sit on that bench, please. Don't sit on that bench. Get off, get off, get off that bench. There you go. Do not sit on that bench. Let's uh, just continue those around. Um, is that even? I think that's pretty much even. Not quite like it. Let's put a, uh, a bin at the end of each of those. Not quite even, but sort of does the job. And that looks amazing. Just everything going nuts there looks absolutely incredible. I love it to bits. Obviously, still need to do some detailing back here, which is, uh, I suppose, something we can do. I mean, I know of a way to get stuff done quickly. And hopefully, you might enjoy it. Yeah. 
Right, I think that looks a lot better. Just a whole bunch of trees, a whole bunch of detail, just lots of green going on there. I also made these uh, lamp posts. They're very basic, but I kind of like them. I kind of like the flags up there. They look interesting. They move a little bit. As you can see, they just blow in the wind, which is absolutely beautiful, but I like them. I think they, uh, they just add something to this little pathway here, and that's kind of the only place I'm going to put them. I don't really want to put them in the main pathway over here, because I'll probably do something a little more unique for this space. I also realize I never got around to putting in uh, benches and all that stuff for this little bit over here. So let's go ahead and get a bin just there. And just there. Uh, we want one just there. And just there. And that's fine. And then uh, the benches just go in between like that. And then the same on this side, we just put the benches all in between like that. So people have lots of places to sit. Uh, this ride's queue is almost full, which is ridiculous. Uh, the cube, not so much, and it seems that Kickflip also isn't all that popular either. Although all of these rides are remarkably popular. I quite like that. Almost a thousand people in the park, monthly profits looking good, we're on $46,000. It's probably worth... Oh, I forgot this bit. I totally... Okay, we'll do that either between ep episodes or in the next one. I uh, I feel it's probably worth mentioning that this game isn't necessarily balanced. This is a very basic version of the way the economy is going to work in the game, but it's still a lot of fun. I'm just curious to see at this point how much money we can start making. So uh, that's, that's kind of my goal with this series, but I like this. I really like how this has turned out. I think the park is starting to come together real, real nicely. Uh... I just, I'm really proud of it. I'm already really pleased with it. I know I haven't built anything spectacular. I know these buildings are super basic and boring and dumb. And again, uh, there's someone going to comment like, actually, uh, I think I'll find I can play Planet Coaster so much better. Um, so, uh, yeah. But uh, no, it's fun. I'm having fun with it. That's kind of, the, this isn't, this isn't a let's build series, even though I did a time lapse and I've been building. Uh, this is much more about just having a bunch of fun as opposed to building something that looks incredibly beautiful, even though I think this looks pretty good. But yeah, that is uh, that is going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, thank you kind of for watching. This has been Planet Coaster Alpha 3 Part 2. And I shall see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>